and uh, we're all set. Can't be done. Yeah, right. Exactly. Because the end comes back. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So, got to catch that one going. Okay. Come up, sorry, just a few minutes. towards Church Street, there's four spaces there, and those were supposed to be re reserved for uh, employee parking. At the present, he has two cars. One of them is unregistered, a truck. That truck used to be on the other side uh, last year. It hasn't moved. He hasn't done anything to it. The other side <coughs> has quite a few cars that have been there since last summer. Some of them, uh, even though that they have 2018 stickers on them, they haven't moved. And my understanding that, there's, that those cars would, would uh, if they're under repair, would only be around 14 days at the max, if my memory served right when he was here and uh, then trying to get at least from Ken Bolden. Um, I don't recall, I don't remember. It sounds familiar. It sounds like it's in the right ballpark. I don't remember if it was 14 days or not. It was terrible. He now owns the building, just so you know. He owns oh, he the property own now, yeah. Um, he's not leasing it anymore. I'll, um, I have uh, noticed some of the vehicles that are there as well. The ones on the left hand, if you're looking straight on, the ones on the right hand side, I think there are there two unregistered vehicles or just one. Uh, I didn't really look at the other one. There's a truck that or a SUV of some yeah. kind of gray, beige yeah. colored or silver colored. Yeah. That's no tags at all on it. That uh, the one that's I out front. Yeah. That's been there since we since we at came. At least a couple uh, of weeks. Back. Yeah. Yeah. And even though he's tried, he worked on it twice this week. That's the first time <laughs> I seen him working on it. Okay. I was trying to recall if I saw them working on it before and just didn't think it was a new truck or I, mean, I drive by it every day myself. So I yeah. I will say though, while you were away, the cars did move in and out of there. I mean that. Oh, I'm not saying so, they, they, but you know, yeah. I understand completely the cars on the the 
What's that closest to you? They're not supposed to be parked there. They're supposed to be employee parking. So that needs to be rectified. What we can do is um, send the, if, if you're okay with that, sending the um, uh, code enforcement officer either over there or having them send a letter, whichever one he thinks is, 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 um, Whatever is, appropriate. is, is the most appropriate course of action. He has a, sort of a, a protocol he follows. Either yeah. Sends the letter first, and then follows up with it. I can't recall which way, which order he does it in, but he'll handle it. Yeah. Us, so. This is the one. It's got a red uh, state inspection on it, oh, but yeah. it's got a green uh, on the so license. You don't mind if I make a bigger. No, go ahead. Yeah, it's expired anyway. It's the state sticker. They don't look like that anymore. And uh, the other, the issue was that he wasn't supposed to have any snowmobiles on that property. Any what? Store any of his yeah, snowmobiles. Snowmobiles or bullets or anything like that. <clears throat> so can I ask a question? Since I wasn't here when this yeah. took place. Um, is this, was this agreement because he was renting from Boldick? Or no, is this the agreement it went to the, of a the planning board. Okay. So, we had to go through site review because it was a change in use for the business. Okay. It had been a bus depot for years mm -hmm. and then kind of a repair shop kept fed while he had the buses there but mm -hmm. so it went to the planning board process and as part of the site review um, there were certain conditions that he had to keep the property up to so okay we, and it's the select board's um, responsibility to enforce that okay I would also say though um, we need to find out it's Hank Brandt owns the property where Paul's used to be I think he still does. We need to figure that out. Yeah, Is right. Yep, Up yep, the street yep, yep. from there. Um, they're doing a similar thing, so we need to figure out who That's to send I that didn't letter know if to. It was too. The, yeah, was no. It a previous agreement with him and Mr. Baldick, or if it was. No, well, he was, was the deal he was supposed to be leaving next to the other street, too. So, okay. And the new people probably don't know because yeah, they didn't have to go through that. Yeah, since he owns the property, is that something that's everything, what was said on that paper? Oh, no, 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 no. no, no, no. It's the no. use. I just didn't know. That's why I asked. Yes. I All those conditions doesn't voice. matter. I just wanted like you to that. know that he owns yeah. it. Now. Yeah. It's, it's not Ken anymore. So, no, all those conditions still have to be met. Doesn't matter if he owns it or someone else buys it. As yeah. long as there's a garage being operated, that's what. It, those are the conditions that need to be met for anyone to operate a garage yeah. there. So, yeah. we will this follow up. This was the other on. car. Yeah, that's the one I was. Oh, that's not the one I was picking. I was giving that. That's been there for a while, and it's uh, unregistered because it's got a red sticker. Mm -hmm. On the plate, uh, and there's one, they are now. and one. there's one that's all the way down at the end. That the there's a truck in, uh, in front of it that hasn't moved, and that's been there for quite a while. I'm looking at it right now. The red truck, maybe. No, the mm. at the blue truck. Oh, the sorry. I'm looking at the same picture, sir. Yeah. There's quite a few vehicles there that need to be taken care of. All right, so we'll send him over there. It might be easier just to go over there yeah. first and then follow up with a letter. Then if he doesn't. Yeah, that he's been when, when we've had to send someone over there or send a letter, he's been quick to respond. So, I'm given yeah, that he's, we always get the, this thing like says under his breath or not under his breath, but just loud enough to hear. So, people ought to just mind your own business. And I, my wife had walked by that one time and he said something uh, sort of snappy to you. Didn't want me on his property. Didn't mind if the dog was there, but not me. All right, we'll um, we'll send some over. All right. Sorry that you had to come in for this, but oh, no. I just know I uh, just wanted to know if there was a change in. No. no other than I, nope. as a matter of fact, I just heard today that he uh, that he owned it, and I never heard anything about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he bought it from Mr. Bull, but. How long ago now? It's been months. Yeah, because he still was leasing it when we were before we left. Yeah, it was uh, it was winter time, I believe, or maybe it was either just before or just after the tax bill came out. Because he was talking, to me, asking yeah. me a question about it. Yeah. Okay. But well, we'll, uh, we'll any follow up on it. Do. No, no, well. There are conditions that need to be met, so we'll follow up on them. Okay. Thank you Thanks very much. Thank you. Any other community business? If not, we're going to move on to department head. Mr. Road Agent, come on up. I don't have anything other no? than uh, I was going to just came in in case you had questions on the trucking. Yeah, 
Okay, we can, well, you know what, why don't we pull that up then? We've got the, I think in the, you've got it oh. in the folder here somewhere. The, Do we have a, yeah. We're speaking code, sorry, Corey. It's the um, demolition hauling. Do we have a contract here? Municipal so solid waste and demo yeah, hauling yeah, yeah. contract. Right. Those are the bills I think we need to use. Oh, wrong folder. Sorry. Don't worry. Let me snatch it away from you. All right. So, what do we have here? On call, it's $225 haul rate. Is that what it says here? Yeah. Triano. For Troy, Triano. Triano. You could read it there. I wasn't. We, got, that. we call different places. Yeah. Shipyard and Triano is the only one that gave us prices. Okay. Uh, Panad didn't want nothing to do with it because they don't want to haul the waste. Oh, I gotcha. And Casella, who owns their own landfill, doesn't want to haul the waste. Uh, and enough. we didn't bother calling waste because we already know they're already hired everybody around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what we'd be using. All right. Okay, we did it one time. Um, all right. Do you want to take a look at it? And so, this is for. Both the demo and the Trash. MSW, okay. And the contract uh, with um, our current hauler ends on the 30th. 30th, right? Right. So. right. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll be storing a lot of garbage if we the don't have an the contract yeah. tonight. So. The lamp tree uh, thing is done at the end of the week. Right. So. So who signs this? Does he sign it? Or do sign. we sign it? I'm going to sign do? it for okay. Savannah. She's not here. But, uh, we don't want to store garbage. That's so how you dollars difference in trip. Yeah. We're in the shipyard, so. Yeah. Say that one more time. That's hundred dollars cheaper than the shipyard. Yeah, so. Right, yeah. And how long is the contract good for? One year? One year, I think, is it? Renewable it each year? It looks like one year. Effective day July 1st, 2018. Is there somewhere? I don't know what I saw. This is our best quote. This is our best quote. Yeah. Are we uh, are we good with this one? Well, how yeah. take a motion then? We should do a motion to accept. I can't say that. What is it? Triano, I think. Triano Waste Services to be our um, waste hauler. Waste. We got to be our waste hauler for the next year. For the next year. Yeah. Okay, I'll second it. Are there any other questions for George? Hundred dollars cheaper than what we're paying now. Is that what it's saying? So yeah, I think shipyard only three hundred dollars. Okay. Should do a fee. Well, either way, it's uh, a cheaper bid and it's uh, our best bid, so we, we need to get rid of our garbage. So, all right. Yeah, let's still going to be doing the recycling. So recycling now. Shipyard, shipyard is still doing recycling. Time being, anyway, until we discuss the okay. other steps. Okay. All right. And do we know if um, Toriano might be interested in doing our? Very. Oh, they're very interesting. Okay, so well then. So why didn't they quote it both at the same time? We didn't want to bring up the recycling yet because there should be some big changes. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So we'll deal with the big changes yeah, when we you want to talk to us. MMNV or whatever the heck. The what? Recycling. The New Hampshire RRA or whatever. The recycling company. Yeah. They're giving us ideas of how we should approach this. Oh, oh okay. Because the price of yeah. uh, recycling has gone down the tubes. Mm -hmm. Right, I know the, the Chinese aren't buying right. uh, our glass anymore, right? So oh, yeah, anything they hold over there is because they're recycling their own. Dirty. I think, so. Well, it's dirty. Yeah. Yeah. They want 0.5 percent, and the company in Massachusetts has tried, and the best they can do is 0.9. Oh, there's no way they're going to get that. Yeah. And they are full of junk. All right. Mm, okay. Anyway, let's, let's pass right. this one first. Yeah. All right. So all those in favor of Triano Waste Services, say aye. Aye. aye Oppose. All right. I will sign it. Nothing we want to bring up yet. We're just going to get some more discussion on it and more info. As long as um, well, shipyard, shipyard is going to continue to take it. it. Good. They're using their dumpster and stuff. But Triana will be using our stuff, and we've got one less mm -hmm. thing to do with the kit. And when that comes, I'll put that back in the folder. So I will have that. All right. Do you want to see it for the name? Yeah. For George? Landfill post closure report. Oh, okay. Well, I, that I didn't get an update on. 
done. So all right, that's happened today. All right, then I'm not going to. Uh, we'll I, I leave it to you. Do that next week. Next week, yeah. Okay, we'll leave that on then. And the assessment training, I think we need to wait for um, um, budget review with um, Suzanne, right? And that' why we kept it on there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. I don't have anything else for George. Like I said, I, before the meeting started, I thought it looks really nice down on uh, Woods Run and on Heritage. So, well done. I, yeah. I, we haven't got any complaints in there. Last, you know, if people have any complaints, I let you know. But mm -hmm. yeah. nobody's getting anything other than right. positive. So. Yeah. Yeah. No one's complained yet about, uh, oh, the tie-ins aren't perfect or anything. We've had it on other roads. So. You no, know, because they all know it's going to be done next year. Well, I understand that, George. That doesn't yeah. stop people. No, actually, they, they, were, <laughs> they were happy to see the way it was done. So. Right. Well, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, What's going to be even better than when the road There may be a so. complaint coming uh, caused by vibration, supposedly a crack in some sheet rock, but I kind of hard to believe, but we'll go from there. We might be in Someone's there. house, like when yeah. the what, reclaimer went by or something? Or, or truck? I, 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 I never heard of such a thing, but okay. I mean, well. we walked beside that, bi that vibrating road. Right, road, right, road, right. I don't believe it. I, it's, you know, take an earthquake to do some damage. Which everything. location? River Road. River Road? Yeah, it's 100 feet off the road. Oh. Well, we'll wait for the complaint then, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, 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 it might not even rise. Oh, okay. Like call the insurance company just to give them a heads up. To oh, see okay. If there's anything. So, mm -hmm. just, just let you know that's the, okay. only, that's the only issue that might arise. Okay. Have they done anything different anyway? Yeah. You had to do what you had to do to get well, it done. I can't yeah. imagine. That's why I break the rules. I mean, yeah. call yeah. back it. So, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah, I, like I said, I got nothing. I got a couple things I'll bring up when we're. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you, George. Thanks, George. Have a great night. All right. We don't have. Uh, oh, wait. Is it done? We don't have. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, we don't have. Uh, police may be coming a little later. Yeah. 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 Y
So I'm not sure if I asked them to have that put in just to put it up for discussion, but I think that, um, you know, we did it for budget committee. We, you know, we could do it for selectmen. We could, you know, we have a lot of people that just need to have information. The Municipal Association does these trainings right. as well. We have uh, the ZBA training uh, on the agenda, mm -hmm. further down on the agenda that we need to deal with. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, no, it's a point well taken. So we should add that under the category, I would think, uh, or it is under budget. It okay. is under budget. For 2019? Right. Well, yeah, yeah. I just, you know, I just think it's something that's worth so its investment. Why don't we leave that on? We'll mm -hmm. table it for now. Um, so when Suzanne, um, and I believe she wants you to work with her mm -hmm. uh, on preparing next year's budget, um, we'll table it now so that she has make a note of it when she gets back. Absolutely. So, and yeah. she keeps a very long list of things that we mm -hmm. at meetings throw and say, wouldn't it be great if we could, you know, and then at the end of the year we say, okay, this is not project, well, this is not going to happen, you know. Yeah. We whittle the list down to where we think we can do things, but we will table that one. That's a great idea, though. Uh, Post-meeting chores, that's also table for that is Suzanne's, and the fire chief is here, I just saw him. So. I think he just left. Oh, all right. Well, maybe I don't know. Left. Maybe he didn't want to talk to us. Um, he went back. Oh, he went back. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, transfer station is being tabled at, by my request, so that's okay. Although I I have started uh, looking at it, um, uh, especially against the um, there's one other issue. It's not just um, it's, it's not just um, the, the transfer station stickers issue, but there's also inconsistencies between the municipal the minimum housing standards and the transfer station ordinance. So we want to make them more cohesive. Okay. So if, Anyone can get a transfer station sticker. Why is there a requirement for having dumpsters or removal? Um, there's also an issue of. Um, Actually, someone come in at night to talk about right, that. someone I complained about. I don't see her yet. So, no. but um, um, under um, it's coming up further. Uh, it's coming up under E. We can talk about it then. But. We'll just table the other one. Mm -hmm. General services agreement for Hoyle Tanner, that should be in the for signature. We uh, we are clear with the liability company, so we are good to sign. I have uh, spoke to Ms. Kendall, and we should be good to go. We can hold, it's probably at the bottom of the pile at this point, right? Because it's been, we keep putting it off we, for a couple weeks now because we wanted to get an answer, but we're good, I guess. So. Again, the, um, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, general services agreement between uh, the town and Hoyle Tanner to do on-call engineering services for us. Uh, we have executed these agreements in the past with them, and we're about to do it again, I believe. What I can, just so everyone understands, we're all on the same page again, the scope of services. A oil tanner may be called upon to provide professional engineering services, including but not necessarily limited to the following project management, engineer design of bridge or culvert rehabilitations, repairs and replacements, engineering design of roadway. It's a very long list, Corey. I'll just show it to you. Probably each of the several ones. There's about a dozen of them. So. I'm recording. Oh, you're recording. Even better. Engineering design of roadway rehabilitations, repair of, or of new roadway projects. Uh, much like super nuts there. Uh, um, evaluation of existing municipal utilities, including water and sewer, transportation planning services, construction phase site inspection services, traffic counts, traffic studies, intersection design and or intersection state signalization design, engineering review of planning board submittals for compliance with state and town regulations, preparation of environmental permit applications, and uh, providing assistance with engineering expertise as may be requested, which probably 
would have been easier just to say k because that wouldn't be much encompassing at all. But um, uh, for each task, um, Hoyle Tanner will prepare a brief scope of services defined by task order, uh, man hour, cost estimate, proposed schedule for the town, uh, for the town's approval. So basically, I mean, the oil tanner will not begin any services for an assignment until authorization to do so by the town. I mean, this is um, this is sort of like an on-call for for them, so that we remain um, one of their not their clients, but so we, we stay in their queue, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so, are we in favor of signing the having you sign the agreement? Mm -hmm. You make a motion, motion to, to accept and sign the agreement for Hoyle, for Hoyle Tanner. The general services general agreement? General service agreement. So I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. Dumpsters for buildings of, it says four or more units, which I think has been uh, a sticking point with some folks. And someone was going to come in tonight and talk to us about it. The ordinance that we passed, the, the, the letter is, uh, or the, rather the, the list was supposed to have been compiled. Um, I have not seen the list come to us or a letter yet, so um, we'll follow up with Caroline again in the front office because they were the ones that were very concerned about this. But um, it's um, under minimum housing standards. So it's Article 2, Responsibility of Owners. If you look at Section uh, 2019-01-9 under Article 2, Subsection B, in premises containing more than four dwelling units, the owner shall supply garbage disposal facilities or garbage disposal containers for all dwelling units, you know, how they can have them remove themselves, or they can, mm -hmm. or have a dumpster, or you know, have, have a garbage person come and, and collect them, as some folks in town do. But it's not four or more; it's more than four, so you have to have five or more. Um, so that's five or more units, units in a building. It's not four or more. It says more than four. Okay. So maybe that's something that needs to be uh, clarified, clarified next, next year. Next um, in a in a in a Warren article to uh, to say or, four or more, I would think. But I think that was our intention. But it clearly says more than four. Okay. So we will need to go back to uh, the folks that are, are drafting the list of. Uh, that they believe we need a garbage disposal mm -hmm. facility or, or service. It should be more than four. So I know there was someone who came in, one of their tenants came in to get a, um, I think I turned away. a transfer station sticker yeah. again and was turned away. Mm -hmm. um, and clearly the ordinance says, well, okay, two issues. Clearly the ordinance under the transfer station says that any resident of the town is allowed to have one. Doesn't matter if you rent or if you own. Doesn't matter. It says that you're a resident is allowed to have a transfer station sticker. So they should have gotten it just because of that. But also, um, they don't live in a in a um, in a place where um, their landlord is required to take care of their garbage. Mm -hmm. So you can do something with it. So then they're gonna get rid of it somehow. They're gonna right. get rid of it. They have to throw them out throw it on the street. So yep. they should give them a transfer station sticker. In my opinion. Okay. So we're all on the same page for that one. That. Rec 
creation. Our, it was the first day of camp today. And as far as the, at least one Rolo family member was very happy with it. So. so, But I will turn it over to you because you're our keeper of all things recreation. Um, I, I haven't heard anything about today. Um, I do know that we still have some things that we have to work out. Okay. Um, so I am um, working on those with two chairs. Yeah. Um, do you want to add anything so you're as part of it? Did you go today at all? I did. I dropped my son off and I've been in email communication with the chairs about some things and I'm deferring to them to answer. Okay. All right. I did bring a permission slip that we had on the drive for team camp. Okay. Slightly adjusted. Okay. Can we, we can take it up now, so I would just take it out of order. That's fine. So children walking to and from camp, is that what this is uh, yeah. about, Celia? Yeah. Okay, so there's, I will saying, set this, do you want me to set the stage or shall you set the stage? Well, they, uh, we have a parent who wants, who just lives across the street or something, that wants their child to be able to leave and go home. And all it says is 2018 Camp Ride <coughs> permission to walk or ride bike unattended to, from the Rollins for grade school of the child's name, and permit their child to leave camp at the following times, and they understand that. My permission is to remain in effect for the duration of the entire Phone Camp program, and then the parent signs it and dates it. We did, uh, it was the, there's it's a, one. It's like, a sixth grade student that lives directly across the street from the right, school. Right, no, but so. Caroline had sent something that said, make sure that you put something. So this is the same one. The other one said 2018 Teen Camp instead of Camp Raleigh, right. and it didn't include unattended. So unattended was added. That's what it was. Okay, I couldn't remember what it was. Okay, thank you. Um, so anyway, um, so but so I mean, it, it's the, parents. the teen camp are, are allowed to come and go because of age. Because of the age, right? Right, right. but so they still have to have a they still have to sign have a right. signed I mean, permission slip. You just changed teen camp to Camp Raleigh. So because we didn't want any younger children to go. Right. And I still stand but, by the yeah. original decision, but I mean, if, if it's the parents' desire and they literally live across the street from the school, is my understanding. Mm -hmm. I mean. Mm -hmm. I know. I agree. I, I don't. Um, if they're going to put their name on it, that's. Yeah, I don't have a, a problem with that. I don't want every single kid being able to go willy nilly in and out of the yeah. camp. So, but, but they still have to check in and out, it's right? Signed. I wouldn't let it happen until it's signed, though. So, no, please make sure that. So, I, so what would need to happen is we and I will need to approve or not approve, approve the form, right? Is that what you're looking approve for? Approve the from policy us? change policy in this change. instance. Okay. All right. uh, on a case-by-case -case basis is what I would say, mm -hmm. um, and uh, approve this form. And yeah. I'm, I'm fine with doing mm -hmm. I'll make a motion that we approve the Camp Raleigh permission slip to be um, able to walk or ride home, but not until a parent has signed it and dated it and turned it in can that happen. So. Um, in this one instance, right? It, well, it, every instance has to, ha I mean, it has to be brought to somebody to make sure that they, you know, we understand age and all of that. So I think age has a, a lot to do with it, in my opinion. So, um, but yeah, so I. All right, I'll second it. Okay. So all those in favor of allowing uh, this one individual child to walk mm -hmm. to and from camp uh, and approving this form, say aye. Aye. Aye, opposed, all right. So no, we don't have to sign it, this is just right. this. So the record will reflect it. So Celia, yeah. I'm sorry that you're the one sort of stuck doing this, but I appreciate your willingness to help with this. Can you um, either email the camp folks or drop it off in the morning? I don't know when you drop off uh, a yes. or whatever. Let them know that the parents have to sign that tomorrow morning. Or that doesn't or, happen. Or it doesn't happen. So I mean, I because we're, we do have a policy that we don't allow it. We're, we're making an exception just for this one family because literally they live across the street from the school. So, yeah, so it seems kind of ridiculous. It's signed and dated and so. returned back. It doesn't happen. Yeah. It's just they have to do it tomorrow morning. Yeah. Okay. Alright. And so the next thing we had under camp, and I'm sorry that you're the one who has to get stuck having to pass that on, but uh, we're going to get there quicker if you do it, I think. Uh, budgeting fund expending authority? Yeah. Seems to be a misunderstanding of who can make those decisions and who can um, spend without authorization. From the select board? Well, the select board 
is my understanding is the decider factor. Right. However, we're the ones that are able to move money around the recreation right. budget. They not the summer rec budget in general. The, but the, I mean like the, just anything to do with anything. the town administration budget. Correct. So Correct. there was a misunderstanding okay. and that they could um, take $1,100 from the winter rec that's sitting in the budget and move it to summer rec because they knew that the winter rec wasn't going to happen. However, there seems to be a misunderstanding about budgeting in our town and how it works. $1,100 is in there in the budget, but also it's anticipated revenue in the other side. Right, well, you okay, can't spend too. the $1,100 unless you get the $1,100 gotcha. in revenue. Well, people you, don't get that. You, okay, let's just say regardless of offsetting revenue. Let's just say there's no requirement for offsetting revenue. Okay. Just for a moment. Mm -hmm. Just because there's $1,100, whatever the magic number was, $1,100 earmarked, budgeted for winter rec mm -hmm. in our budget, or for flags, or for fireworks, mm -hmm. or for petting zoos, or whatever it is, or for, for overtime, I mean, whatever it is. Just because it's in the town budget doesn't mean doesn't mean a a an appointed committee of, uh, of any appointed committee has has fiduciary responsibility or authority to, to move the line items. The only group that has that authority is sitting behind this table. Exactly, and I tried to tell him that at the last meeting and got overruled. Okay, well whoever's so overruling you is not. So they took their vote. I came back, did my confirmation, yeah. sent it back through, yeah. still agrees to disagree with me. Okay. However, it won't happen because we're not going to authorize it. So I don't know what it is yet, but well, they wanted we would still have to be the one that authorizes it. Well, they wanted it. to take 1100 from winter to bring it into summer. Yeah, they yeah. thought it was money. I got you. Not, there is no money. I got you. So they were trying to offset their deficit is what they you. were trying to do. And so... You. It isn't going to happen because that isn't money. It's, right. it's, that is, we, it's that aware is exactly that you can correct. put expenses for winter But my understanding is now that the, the email I saw this morning or this afternoon was that the hole has resolved itself because there were extra kids that signed up. No, it's not resolved it's not itself. Resolved That's now. another whole big issue. We can talk about that too. We do need to talk about it. Okay. Um, because as far as I know, we're still in the hole, correct? By how much? I cannot tell you that. You need to speak to the chair. Um, I can tell you the teen camp had um, two additional signees, which put us in the positive for teen camp. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. That's even okay, well, no, the, 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 the Raleigh camp is worse. They, oh. Last time I knew, we were, we were down $4,000. Oh. And we had to hire another, another uh, counselor, and we'll have to do two buses now instead. So my question to the, to the rec committee was, if you're over your numbers than you were last year, why aren't we in the positive fund-wise? Because yeah. truly, that doesn't make sense to me. And I, nobody could give me an answer. So even though they have more numbers, right. they don't have enough money. So either budget, the budget wasn't done correctly, right. they aren't charging enough, right. or you know, there's there's various reasons, but we have to we have to come in neutral. Right. Um, so um, we're gonna work really hard on it this fall to make sure that that's gonna happen. And okay. if it's increasing the pricing or whatever, and they also had a huge increase in salary, which um, that's probably where your deficit is. Though. They went up thirty percent, okay. which is huge. That's where your money's going. I got you. Okay. So all of this happened before I got on, or before I got actively involved. Okay. So there is some issues with revenue, and I am going to meet with um, so, the chairs. Okay. And when when are you all meeting again? Uh, we're not meeting until next week. No. The committee is not meeting as a group. We have not said until. The week of July sixteenth. Okay. But are you meeting? You said the meeting. I'm going to meet with the chairs hopefully this week. Okay. So they have more to report next week. Yes. I hope so. Yeah. So besides that, Mrs. Uh, Lincoln, how was the show? Um, anyway, that mm -hmm. I heard nothing but glowing things about camp today. Not saying so. that camp isn't doing wonderful things. I'm just saying. No, that no, no, 
no, no, the, so I'm not saying that. There's, 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 there's procedures that need to be followed and Fair procedures enough. that need to be discussed and making sure they're enforced. Yeah, yeah no, the, the budgeting fund expending authority business is, is very clear to me. The, the only group that has the authority to expend uh, funds is right here, so, or to yeah. move money around. And I, we just got another bill, a huge amount um, for the, the, um, the director and the co-director, or assistant director, of hours that they've put in that weren't budgeted. And we have to pay them. Because you can't not volu you can't volunteer on a job. Right, 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 right. So, so this was unexpected, run. and we are going to have to have a sit down and, and talk about this. And... I don't know what I don't know what we're going to do, but that's even more money on top of what we're already in the hole. So you're going to have even a larger conversation with yeah. us this week. Yeah. And report yeah. next week to us yeah. about it. I will. So he has back next week, right? Yep. But I, I'm very concerned we are not going to be coming in with a funded. I, I'm okay. pretty certain unless you get a bunch of grants. So and that grants will fill the. There's so. lots. All of the. You haven't heard anybody, right? I haven't heard anything yeah. back. So she has all of her grants are still outstanding. Well, so I mean, if they all came in, we wouldn't be, we'd still be over. What, um, I don't recall. How much did you apply for? So, um, total, roughly. 35, 3,000, 5,000. Okay, yeah. so, so we're, we, we could break even or if we'd be a little under, if we got, or, we could, or we could be over. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Okay. So, from what I can speak to is the team camp we had. We extended the deadline till July 25th because it's by the week, right. and we did have two more people. Um, and that's good news. And that. So that took care of that problem, but not on the other side of the camp. But my question is, is can we move money from camp, from team camp to Camp Raleigh? It's not two different. It's one budget, right. recreation. So. Summer rec. It's uh, rec summer rec. Yeah, I mean it. It you don't. It's good that you keep it separate so we can see where where things are going good and things are not so good, but it's the two of them added together is your bottom line. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So you don't have to worry about that. I would like them both in the positive, but it isn't going to look that way, but this will override this. Okay. okay. But still keep on accountability separate. So we'll see you. how that goes. All righty. So two new hires. Well, I only knew of one. So can you enlighten me on the second one? See, this is we. I have to have conversations because. Are there um, hiring forms in there about somewhere? I am deferring you to the chairs. Hmm. I only know of one camp, safe thing to do. one camp director, uh, um, uh, counselor. Yeah. That's the only one I'm aware of. So I'm surprised yeah, by the two. No, those are all the process. I don't have any forms. I don't have anything for you. So. I mean, I had a conversation with with Caroline earlier in the day because I like to go through the agenda, but which is I'm supposed to be talking about some of these things. Kind of know what I'm talking about, but she had mentioned that the the camp had had to hire um, two additional counselors. Two. Uh, that's uh, that's what she said. That's well, that's what I'm remembering, and it says two here, so that's why it could only be one. But and the the, the, the there's two problems. Well, there's really only one right now. There's potentially two because you're talking about funding woes. But, and this could be exacerbating it, but um, the, the group that hires uh, these folks are, are also sitting behind the table here. So, uh, and I get it that it had to be done quickly. Uh, and I, I understand that completely um, because there were uh, more kids coming and all that and, and they need to be attended to. So, uh, but... Again, we, we're the hiring authority, so mm -hmm. we need to give the permission to hire these individuals, but I can't give permission to hire someone whose name I don't know. Well, something was on, I saw something on the email. Do you have that email? One of them I'm was Marshall, right? right now. You're forwarding it was, to me now? It was, I, I'm pulling it up. It was oh. sent to my um, selection panel. I don't have my computer. Um, it was sent to the selection panel. Okay. Let's see. Late this afternoon. Oh, okay, late this afternoon, then yeah. I wouldn't have seen it because I was driving. Do you have it? 
There are three names right there. I don't have last names. I don't have any paperwork. Well, I also have two names. Valerie where? and Marshall. Oh, wait, wait. Where you are we looking? Three? That's the other one. Where is it? It, I, it didn't, it went to Caroline and the rec. I don't think it went to, to the board. Oh, I got right this. Now. Oh, what I would have done with the rec. Sorry. Um, okay, so, so, and then okay. new part-time right there. And then, so, um, we're going to take this back. You need a new screen there, mm -hmm. lady. We do. And then, we want to see, um, we, there are two more names right there. Okay, so. Oh, I did names? see that. Uh. See, that's concerning to me because well, they believe names, that, that they, need to hire. Well, yeah, they have they have four names listed there. Um, they they believe that the, the responsibility to hire and to um, negotiate salary is totally on their plate. Okay. We have um, in the what's the past two years. No, past year, two years of, of summer camp. No more than that. I know we've only had this sort of revitalized camp. This is this year two. Year two, and right. I understand that. But even before we, the select board hired all these kids that we didn't pick them, but they were suggested to us by apparently it was Larry who, who ran the camp before, or. or Help organize with um, um, what's her name from Paula Woolen. I mean, they, they would organize, but they would still give us a list of kids' names, and the select board still hired them, though. Mm -hmm. So. And last year, Jody brought forth the names. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So there's there's two problems. There was this transition of um, of when the camp was being planned and when. It's not your fault because you don't plan when elections happen, <laughs> so when people get sworn in. So there's this there's this transition issue too of when people were getting hired, they're gearing up to get hired, like the um, senior staff, uh, the director, and all that, mm -hmm. and the the new I still want to say and we've only done this now for one year volunteer uh, rec committee. Mm -hmm. uh, not understanding maybe uh, clearly their delineated roles versus what they think they're supposed to be doing. Um, Can I make a motion to go into non-public for personal issue? Sure. So I can speak clearly. We, um, so we were, you want to go into... For recreation personal issue. Okay, so we'll move it. Denise moves that we go into non-public session for deal with personnel issues with the recreation department committee, and I will second. There will be a roll call. Mike, yes. Denise, yes. Yes. Uh, we are in non-public session to deal with uh, personnel issues. Could you please uh, turn off the camera? Camera. Off. I just tried. Okay, so we're not going to take any action this evening. We um, we only have a, a couple of first names. It's hard for me to uh, hire someone based on their first name. So um, Denise is meet, going to be meeting with um, with the uh, heads or co-chairs of the uh, summer rec committee or recreation committee. Um, to have a conversation about uh, hiring these individuals, and we will come back in a. I'm not sure if this is a payroll week or not. I mean, if these kids are working, they need to get paid. Well, if it's payroll week, though, that's for previous two weeks, so they wouldn't be paid. They might not this be week. paid for this week. Either, right, we need to get so, take, yeah. either way, if they're working and they're working with our kids, they need to be hired officially ASAP. So Denise is going to be meeting or reaching out to them as soon as humanly possible. Do you know um, if they work today? I don't know. Okay. So, um, but she's still going to be, you're going to be reaching out to them maybe even tonight to yep. at least 
find out when they're going to be able to meet with you. Yep. And we'll come back in a, uh, uh, a special meeting uh, with the intended purpose only of hiring or not hiring some rec uh, uh, counselors. That would be the only reason we'd be coming back. So that's what's going to be happening with, with rec at the moment. Okay, anything else to say about REC? Yep, I have a volunteer appointment um, oh. by Primex. You need to sign, it says, you are hereby um, recognized as a volunteer in the town of Rollinson for the purpose of participating in a summer recreation schedule between June 18 to August 18. Your ten tenure as a volunteer will continue until your resignation or until your termination by the town or ends of the project, whichever comes first. The purpose of this letter is to comply with the provision RSA 50817. The volunteer immunity law, as that law may be amended from time to time. Thank you for your service. This is, I think this is primarily because um, she's going to be a driver of her van for teen camp oh, okay. in lieu of a bus. So okay. I think our insurance is going to, is asking for this to be signed. Okay, so uh, Primex, our liability company, is asking us to... Uh, to appoint um, Kelly Anderson as an official volunteer of the town of Rollinsford. So she's covered under our, um, our liability uh, coverage. So we will... Uh, as well as her own policy. She still has right, to right, right. have she, it, but this is right. just being named. She, cause she still has to sign off um, and, and, and the parents that allow their children to go in her right. vehicle still have to sign off on that form that Everyone else has to, mm -hmm. um, but this is um, this this is at Primex's request to, to protect the, the town of Rollins. Correct. So, and without objection, I will sign on behalf of the town. So, I remember the date by this point. It's written mm -hmm. off this evening. All right. So that's taken care of. So, is there anything else for for recreation this evening? Seeing anything, I'm going to move on to agenda item G, ZBA training fund. Now we talked about it a little bit, um, but as you said, Denise, there are um, four four new members of the of the ZBA, mm -hmm. um, three full members, and uh, one um, one um, <coughs> alternate. Um, there is a request by the, the, the new chair of the ZBA to have a training for his members. Um, it's probably a really good idea. The, the ZBA handles some very delicate and tricky um, pieces of uh, planning and, and, and zoning law, um, which if we don't handle it um, correctly, <laughs> the, the town of Rollinsford could be out of quite a bit of money because we could be sued. Um, I don't think anyone wants to see happen. In the um, in the thank you in the folder I, at my request, mm -hmm. um, I uh, one of the there are three options for training, the, the way that I see it right now. Uh, Attorney Radigan, who had done training for the planning board, has offered to do it for the ZBA as well. It would be uh, approximately a thousand dollars, I believe, is what Charlie mm -hmm. found out from him. Uh, now, I believe that the training that we received from Attorney Radigan from the Planning Board's perspective was very helpful. Um, but it was, um, I think it was very helpful because I had already served on the Planning Board for a number of years. It wasn't a, um, it wasn't um, sort of a soup to nuts uh, training, nor is that what we asked for, I guess. But, mm -hmm. uh, well, we thought there were different issues going on with that. But anyways. Um, Second is um, the Municipal Association, which is about $500. 550 550 um, And the third is escaping me now. Oh, Charlie, the third was Charlie was going to um, see if there were any other avenues, I think. But let me just double check just to make sure that I'm not misquoting. Bear with me for two seconds. Okay, right again. Oh, oh, and uh, Mr. Krebs was the third option. Um, uh, oh, okay, Mr. Krebs, uh, the plan, town planning consultant, responded to Charlie that he does not feel qualified 
uh, and that it would be potentially a conflict of interest um, for him to do this training, although Charlie disagrees on the latter. But anyways, but I don't want to put Mr. Krebs in that position if he thinks it's a conflict, but that's fine. Um, so I, my suggestion is, is that we go with, with, the, with the Municipal Association, because that is going to be the more soup to nut uh, beginning to end, what a ZBA is supposed to do, procedure, which I think is really, really important. And I know that the, the, the chair also agrees that procedure is very, very important. Those mm -hmm. are the things that can trip you up and you get sued over. Yep. Um, so, um, it's probably, it's not, it's not proper for the chair, really. The I'll motions. make a motion. Okay. I'll make a motion. I make a motion to accept purchase order 1451 to the New Hampshire Municipal Association for on-demand, on-site training for the ZBA in the amount of $550. Yes, I'll second it. Now, I also should add, uh, what are we supposed to discuss after we make motions, but um, this would come out of, this is gonna come out of um, uh, um, training for the planning board. Okay. Because there is money uh, set aside for, for training for that. Uh, there's money set aside for um, uh, select board planning budget, I believe, right? Because we had one. Um, that, that was it. So obviously ZBA, ongoing training for ZBA is important, I think, because mm -hmm. laws change. Mm -hmm. um, um, that's so why that's why we we'll, we'll make this. sure we make a note of that when yeah. we work on the budget for 2019. Yeah. That's important. Okay. Yeah. So all those in favor of uh, purchase order number one. 1451. 1451 authorizing funding to the New Hampshire Municipal Association for training for the ZBA say aye. 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 Opposed? No opposition. Okay. So thank you. So for the ZBA thank you. We thank them for their service because it's, uh, it's not, a, not a board that meets a lot, uh, but when they do it's important. The minor cases are one thing, but you get something really complicated and you got to make sure that everything is done by the book because it's not, it'll cost you a lot more than $550 for a grant. Exactly. Much, so. Can we go back to fire department? I, I guess Mark left, but sure. can we go back there? Um, we have an application here. Um, this is a credit application that needs the board's signature. Mark recently made a purchase with them. We get a significant discount from the municipality by having an account to set up an account. It's called Whitmer Public Safety Group, and it's for the fire department, and it's to buy emergency equipment, and the uh, um, authorized purchasers are Mark Rutherford, Kevin Hurd, Dan Took, and Sean Glidden, and we just need to approve it and then sign the credit application. So. So, I mean, I know he made some purchases in the last couple of... I can't of remember. Um, I think he voted for something either last week or the week before. Um, we can certainly ask Caroline to pull it out for you. It's a fire store. So, oh, there we go. Or the EMS store or something. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it was, it's equipment. We know that. It's equipment or supplies. Supplies of some know. kind. So, but if we're yeah. going to make... Okay, so we get a significant discount if we purchase if this we way. Have an, if we have an account. Right. Well, we want an account then. So yeah, exactly. We still purchased via PO and all that, so it's not like you can just call up and. Well, they may have used a credit card previously, right. so maybe they're finding out that it's by having an account you get better deals. Right. Well, they're still purchasing guidelines in place, so exactly. that they have to follow. So I'm okay. They with just that. want to so have an account so they can go to it. Right. So are we all, are we okay with? Um, why don't we do a motion? What about that? Motion to. Um, Authorize. Motion to authorize um, Mark Rutherford and the fire department um, to purchase uh, to set up an account to purchase public safety equipment with Whitmer Public Safety Group in Tocqueville, Pennsylvania. All right, I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. No one opposed. Yeah. Okay. 
we're buying through them anyway, as well. and we get a significant discount by actually having an account with them, which that we want an account with them. Absolutely. So, yeah. Integrity we covered. We're going to have Mr. Clark uh, pay a visit or send a letter, whichever which is the proper protocol. So, I've noticed several things that uh, Patterson had mentioned this evening. So, okay. Abatements we're going to take up last, um, only because I need to read the email from 619 to make to see if I need to go into non-public or not. And if we do, I don't want to make people leave again. To, just so we can review applications. So uh, they all become public anyways eventually, but the conversations are not public. Uh, class six road policy review of guidelines. I looked at them uh, again today. I know Suzanne had mentioned before she had uh, had left that uh, she thought in lieu of uh, uh, cases that have come before the planning board and potential cases that may come in the future, she thought it need to be revised again. I've looked at them again today. I'm not sure where she thinks they need to be revised, so my suggestion is we table them until she comes back and she can suggest okay. her revisions. Was one of the questions that was being asked is whether or not they have to be paved? Didn't we talk about that? There was a the question on, uh, on, Rollins on Rollins Road if it was going to be brought to Class 5 standards. Mm -hmm. Then yes, because the Class 5 standards require paving. Okay. Okay, because there's going to be something, or maybe will be something off of um, Bear Road as well. Uh, yeah, off of, uh, kind of Fresh Creek. Yes, kind of comparing that a little bit with yeah. the meeting I had gone to. Right, right, right. Although the so, one off of that one, from what I've heard from the read from the minutes and heard from folks, is that there's like six or seven or eight different variances that might be required to do yeah, anything it's up on a, that yeah, road. It's not, so it's not a simple we thought the one on Shady Lane was complicated. <laughs> yeah. This one is unstable. Yeah. So maybe yeah. that's why she was thinking. But again, I think that I think we're covered, but that doesn't mean that we can't look at it again. And I, if we're going to do it, I want to do it as a workshop of the three of us and that's not fine. of us to take a stab at it individually and okay. miss something. I think it, it's easier to do it that way. But uh, the visioning for the village, it's still there. It's still the village, there. that is. We're in it. <laughs> um, I woke up in it this morning. It's still there. Uh, do you want to discuss it? Do you want to remove it or table it? It's not table our... It. Table it. Okay. We'll leave it on for around the chair. Mm -hmm. Oak Street Boundary, well, you know, I honestly, I pray, I promise you that I was going to go this past week. <laughs> and then last week I got the worst stomach bug of my life. Um, I call it a stomach bug. It has a very fancy name. I won't bore you with it. I went to the doctor and it wasn't fun. Um, so I wasn't walking anywhere last week. <laughs> We'll defer it. Well, any far I guess. <laughs> Wasn't walking far. Uh, so it didn't happen again, so I apologize. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen, I promise. I'm not going to say this weekend because I don't know what ailment will fall. So <laughs> I'm just going to say it's going to happen and it will happen I sometime. I need to be so. further and further away from you. You probably should. <laughs> you probably should. So we've come to standing items. Uh, I think I know you're going to be working on a record a little bit this week. What else you got going on? So I am. Um, on Wednesday, I have CIP at 6.30. Here, um, with the uh, department heads as well as the CIP committee and um, in rec. Right. So if you can, if you can get with the, the rec folks before, and not, uh, not you're not going to be with them tonight, obviously. But mm -hmm. if you can get, if they can get with you tomorrow night, when it's in their best interest to mm -hmm. do that. Mm -hmm. um, my intention would be to meet before the CIP meeting. Fine. Yep. Because it, it will last all of five that. minutes, yep. I would imagine. Yep. So, but yep. I will do that. Okay. Unless they can't for some reason get their ducks in a row, but I think if they want, they need to. Well, if, on them, they if need I can to. do one or two, either one of them, but with a conversation of names and they need last to, names and, yeah. you know, how much you're going to pay them and yeah. you need all of that. Yeah. Um, so that's all I have. 
This is it. I'm oh, a, lucky. Yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, moving a lot of furniture tomorrow night. Oh, I'm bringing out like help and uh, mm -hmm. well, actually, I, other people are. I can't lift anything at the moment, but um, yeah. That was it. That's it. Okay. Uh, we have uh, no building permits for this evening, so we will go through the list of correspondence. And I excuse I myself. I have to look for this email from the 19th, so I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be rude by looking at my email. Municipal Association has something here for the 2019-2020 legislative policy process. Important dates. Um, oh, the Municipal Association is always helpful. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask that I get a hard copy or an email copy of this if that's possible because I'll understand it more if I'm just reading it. Um, do you want to have that yeah, sent to it. you? Yeah, versus, yeah. Okay, I'll send yep. a note to Caroline just to see if we can... Because it's just no votes on it. It's just telling us what's going to happen, right? What's that? The this just tells you what the, the year is going to be about, right? Well, this is, I'm sorry, was, this is the, um, so this is for the, the policy conference on the 14th, right? Um, these are the, the, the policies that, um, that the Municipal Association is recommending they take up. <coughs> um, so like, okay, so here's one I just opened up. I know about this only because I work in this world. Public area, no smoking local option. The see if the New Hampshire Municipal Association will support legislation to authorize the designation of no smoking zones in public areas by local option. So like this town of Derry wanted to ban smoking in their public parks where there are children, mm -hmm. like playgrounds, and but because of uh, preemption law around uh, tobacco, uh, they're not allowed to. Hmm. It's, it's, that would be public it's, parks, not school parks, right? right yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Exactly, because it's because all all school Schools grounds are, are and, smoke yeah. free. Right. Um, I'm just part of coalitions who work for that deal with it. We don't directly deal with it, but um, so they would say, should the municipal association take a position? So if they do take a position that yes, we're supportive of this legislation, when whatever this bill, some legislator will see this and say, oh, I'm going to put this bill in, probably someone from Derry, I would assume, um, and the municipal association lobbies would be able to testify in favor of the bill, but only if the members, if our members say, yes, we should do this. And back, who actually put this in? We'll say, oh, this was actually submitted by the Parks and Facilities Directors of the City of Keene. Oh, okay, well, apparently Keene has tried to do it too, and they got a smack down. Mm. So, uh, Derry was the biggest one that tried it. Or Town Beach, too. But anyways. Uh, consolidating policies on collective bargaining agreements. You know, see if the Municipal Association will oppose legislation that allows municipal employees the right to strike. That's what we We would, we as a board can vote to, to um, say what our position should be, but someone has to go and actually vote for us. So I'm not available on the 14th. I already know that. I'm, I have another meeting. So. Okay. So if you want to go, I would. I actually don't need a copy of that now. Okay, because I think they did email it to us now that I see it. I think they did. To the Board of Selectmen? I, it was it was a link uh, as part of so the municipal association every month or every two weeks or every every week for the legislative session sends us an update on what's going on okay. and that that was a link in one of the latest ones they just sent us I think okay all right well I'll ask yeah Caroline can do it easier that way thank you yep I'm sorry I got to go back to looking for this thing so I know what at least pretend I know what we're talking about.
we have um, it's kind of early, but that's okay. Um, there's a letter here from um, Richard Fogarty. Yes. Says, I'm aware of that the budget process begins early this year, so I do have a proposal I would like the board to consider. I have noticed that the conference room chairs are getting quite grungy, to say the least. I am recommending that the current chairs be replaced with new stackable chairs that are not made of fabric. They will eventually get they will eventually get soiled and or torn. What we have now are chairs that cannot be cleaned and can, cannot be repaired. Uh, you'll notice the condition of the chairs you look at closer and, or not even so closely. I've located a source for chairs and I'm recommending to purchase 30 new chairs. The cost is $30 for a total of $900. I'm recommending a budget of $1,000. I am I'm not sure of the budget line this would fall under, but is but that is not my job description. <laughs> Fair enough, it's not. <laughs> Thank you for considering my proposal, and he has a picture of the chairs. Are they, are they full or stackable? They're stackable. Oh, they're like the hard plastic yeah, stackable chairs? Yeah, it looks chairs? like it, yeah. So, I don't know which one. Well, Richard is absolutely correct. These are really, the chairs that you're yeah. saying, yeah. are, are, are grungy. Um, but is it something that... Um, oh, we take it up during the budget. Take know, it up, but, yeah. yeah. Okay. I know uh, some of them, when you pick them up, they... The arms come off. So. Yeah. He's not wrong. They are, they are in a, a variety of uh, just repair, some of them. Oh. I'm going to just say we'll consider it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, no. yep. uh, that's what he wants. So he just wants to get it in the queue. Smart. Okay. Uh, Town of Rawls, State of New Hampshire, Department of Revenue Administration. This is an annual request to municipalities to determine whether the municipality will utilize Form PA28, Taxpayer Inventory Bank Blank. What do they do, Brad? Uh, I don't know. What is it? What is the PA28? That's, that's the inventory form that we've been talking about, whether we're not going to oh, do it. Oh, is it? Duh. <laughs> okay. Uh, please return this entire form with the section. Below completed and signed no later than August 24th. Oh, so we have a few more. Okay, so I'm going to put in here. With my luck, it would have been June 15th. Need to <laughs> meet with um, tax collector. Andrea, yeah, with the tax collector, yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Environmental services. Mm -hmm. This is right up Suzanne's alley. Is it? Is it about water? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Brazilian right. tidal crossings. There you go. That is quite the culvert. That's a serious culvert. Yeah. That is a very large piece of metal. Gold, too. Huh? Surrounded by boulders. At the beach. Wow. What is a Brazilian tidal crossing? Why care about tidal crossings? Well, I could give you a number of reasons why you might care about it. Well, if you want to cross the road, a lot of water. But the tide comes in. If you want to cross the road, you might want to cross it. All right. Well, we can leave this for Suzanne. See if this is something she's interested in attending. Okay. Is this a protocol? Okay. So this is a this is a, um, an asset that's provided uh, by um, Department of Environmental Services Coastal Program to is something we have to ask for, or they can uh, they conduct uh, field assessments of 120 tidal crossings of the seacoast uh, using their assessment protocol. So this is just a tool that we can access through the website. I mean, yes, you're right. This is right up to the end. We'll leave this for her to access that True, tool yeah. if she'd like. Right. And maybe something good for the um, all came with that, for the stormwater committee actually. Right. Maybe we'll put it out for that. Just, uh, they're meeting next week sometime, I think I saw. Mm-hmm. That's all I got. That's it? Yes. Um, let me just double check to make sure that's the only thing in this folder. I think that's what I saw. So it's
my intention to go on a non-public to discuss the abatement applications uh, and the decisions for or against uh, uh, approving them, and then obviously they become uh, public um, once a uh, decision is rendered. about the applications I think are, are protected, but anyways. Um, I recall we used to get okay, I don't have anything on. No building permits. Review the correspondence. Community input. Any other community input for the evening? Are you meeting next week with it being a holiday week? Sometimes we Yeah. Oh heck yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah, I won't be here, but yeah, you cannot, no, I'm just kidding, just kidding, I'll be here, I'll be here, I'll be here. The CIP, is that posted? No. The meeting? No. Why not? It needs to be posted. Not posted, then I'll... 24 hours, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, 24 hours. Yeah. So Caroline usually handles it for us, so. I'll make sure she does. The videos, the videos, does anyone know when they're actually going to go up? I don't know what you're talking about. The videos. The town videos? When the they town videos. I have no idea. All I know is that one isn't enough. There, there's supposed to be a protocol of, yeah, I don't know. Um, of, um, I don't know, Nancy. I honestly don't know. I can ask, but I will try to find out. Okay, thank you. Yep. I haven't tried to access them. I assumed they were already up. So. Apparently they are not, if you cannot access them. Um, any other community input for this evening? If not, so our intention is Corey, we will let you know. I still have to deal with I have to put that You have to put it away, so, and you all have to put your computer away. No. So it's our intention to go to non-public just to deal with abatement. As soon as we're done with that, we're not doing anything else, we're going home. So, <laughs> unless the police chief comes running in so they need to, you know, you have to sign hire the in I don't know if they're good invoices. Well, I have to, uh, yeah. I used to do it. Okay. Yeah. Can you just put a note?